happy. It's been some major highs and major lows. So, it might take me a little bit to get this all out. Um, but this is my floss tube. I cannot remember which one it is right now. I'll put it below floss tubes where I talk about my cross stitching and everything. And I will have a bit of life at the end. A lot of good. And then something major just happened this morning. But let's go over cross stitching first and get that one out of the way. Um, I worked on two different days on the fall vibes. Wait, no, I didn't. It wasn't the fall vibes. See, my brain, it ain't working right. I worked on the September planner pattern for two days, 200 each day. I did not get it fixed for September. I plan on finishing it though after I finish the October. I'm gonna be doing the October on the same fabric because I got more. And with the colors, I think it fits uh, October. And that was 18 count plan by B Stitch Me. Oh, blessings, yeah. So, that can go there. Then, the lighthouses. I did not get done. I got burned out on them. And I, I, I couldn't do no more. But I got all the frame done. And I think this one marks the halfway point of the lighthouses. This month, it's going to be a goal to finish it. Yeah and work on Clayton's, which I need 8,000 stitches in Clayton's, so I knew I was gonna have to split that one up. Uh, yeah, so. I didn't get very far on it. This is 16 count blue, and it came with the pattern, so I'm not sure of the color. But it's just a plain blue, and it is 16 count, which I'm not used to stitching on. Then on the trip, I decided to take my Along the Forest Path. And I worked on it before we left, and I finished all, I finished like four colors completely until I just had two colors left on the whole column. And uh, when I was at a house or something, like at home or at Deja's or somewhere not traveling, I was working on 939. I am down to, and I was at 3,000, a little bit over 3,000 for 939. I'm down to 1,200 now in it. And then the rest will be black. But this is 18 count Ada. And all I have is the 939 goes mainly through here, and then part of the dress down. Well, no, actually, I think I've got all that. It'd be over here, and then everything else will be 310. So, next time I work on it, I want to finish up the 939. And then I'm gonna start doing a row because this ends the page here, so the column for this month is this one. Do a row, do some of the black, do a row, some of the black, do a row, some of the black. Yeah, I 
I got a lot. <laughs> because all this is going to be confetti. So having the black will also be nice change. And I'm thinking about doing it in columns, working my way down, so that um, I can move this over and have everything that's neat because it ends like right over here. <sighs> yeah, so that's all the stitching. Um, haul. Their Hobby Lobby is close to their house versus here. And I got some mats, blank mats for me to use in my cross stitching. Now I just need a mat cut, cutter because I don't have one anymore. I don't know what happened to it. Then I found some fabric, velvet. I just love the green. I thought this would be good for some stockings. Then I got, I found these little tiny scissors. And for traveling, I'm making me a kit just to have on hand. And yes, I'm going to keep looking at my phone. Sorry. You'll understand why here in a little bit. Um, then I got a whole bunch of flosses. All the main colors that I need. And then I found some pulled canvas ones, and they're three by threes, which is what I was wanting for the turtle. So. I got them. And I got four in here, so I can do some cute little small ones. Right and then my uh, planner for 2024. I decided to get Creatively Crafting this planner, and it came. My soul is fed by needle and thread. I'm going to use this box for quilting. Okay, so I bought, I bought this one that's extra, okay? This was extra, and it's just a dot grid. I'm going to use this for projects I'm kitting up with a list of what I need and what I'm going to use for it. So this be for my kitten up. I want wanted the small one so I can stick it in my purse easily. Then I got this one as a bonus because I became a stitchy. And this one's soft where this one is hard. And of course it's purple. But it's stitchy notes. I'm debating still. I'm thinking about making this my whip making it into a whip um, pages for all my whips to keep track of everything. I don't know yet. I'm still debating. Then we all got a pen. I love purple and green together. So this was perfect. Now for the big thing. The planner. It's got rose gold cord coils and a elastic to keep which is attached to the back in corner so I have not done anything in here yet but there I do it like that so it's got progress all the months and then extras in the back i'll show you one month she still has a few of these left but not many now each of the months has a folder which i love and then uh my 2024 20, goals stitches at a glance i love this I'm going to make it color-coded, different colors for different amounts of each day to see what I get. Get, And then for all the finishes, I'm 
whip annual report card and then progress tracking and then project ones uh, which I've got too many to fill this to put them all in here so I'll figure out and then a place for 20 review yeah in review and then what I did in a progress report for each one and then there's a pattern on each one this one is a butterfly they're all butterflies this year then each month you have on the first it's a dot grid so that if this month's shopping see the other side is a dot grid so that you can rip it out and you're not losing anything i like that and then there's the challenges and the bingo board or stitchy board monthly checklist a monthly calendar whip report card monthly progress and this is on each month Then it goes to the weekly, and this is how the weekly pages are. And then, let's see, and that's it. And it's like that for each month. Each month is a different pattern, so you get 12 patterns with this, which is really cool. Let me get all the way back. And there's some months you have pages for doodles and notes. Creative chaos. Um, it's even got a little folder. Then you have stitch inventory, fabric inventory. and then floss in inventory. And there's a lot for the inventory, lots of pages for the inventories. Then you have a page for floss conversions for discontinued DMC colors, needle and strand guide, Fabric size calculator and a stitching dictionary, and then more grid pages. Then you also get some adorable stickers. I'm very excited to use it. I've got to start filling it in. Um, I want to, to redo my inventory for my fabric, so this would be really good. Uh, so, and that was all my haul. I did pretty good, I think. Um, with it, I also get the free digital planner for 2024 because I'm a stitchy. But I won the 2023 digital planner. So, and it has all the same pages and all. Yeah, that out. But anyway, um, 
I like it. I really, really like it. Okay, so we went to the beach. We got there Thursday and Piper was born and she's perfect. Here's Piper and me in the hospital. She is perfect. She's beautiful. She is such a good baby. They got to come home Friday night. Um, my daughter had a C-section, so it was a little bit. Uh, and Friday night, they got to wear matching pajamas. <laughs> That's McKinley and Piper. And, uh, yeah, so that was fantastic visit with them. And then we were able to keep, uh, McKinley Thursday night and Saturday. So mommy has time to rest. And that's all of them leaving the ha hospital. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. And then we went to the park and visited with the other, some of the other grandkids. Now, the one in the gray here is not my grandchild, but the others, well, and the one, okay. So we inherited two, two grandkids for the day. That one and that one. But that's my granddaughter, my granddaughter, and my granddaughter. I think she's afraid of heights like me. And then Carson didn't get to go to the park. He wasn't feeling very good. But they played galore at the park. And then we all went and got ice cream and uh, Carson came for ice cream. The boys were sick, so they didn't get to come. And Piper, of course, is too small. But, um, more Piper. Yeah, I got lots of baby pigs. Lots and lots of baby pigs. And it, it was just a fabulous trip. Then we got to go Sunday because the boys were sick and we couldn't chance carrying anything to Piper. So then we got to go see my son and his two boys. That's Gabe and that's Aiden. Okay. See how little Gabe is? You might want Keep that in mind how little they are. Um, so we visited with them before we left yesterday. And uh, we didn't get too long because it, it's, it's a long drive. And then we came home and this bad part. I woke up to a message. Everyone's okay. Clayton's house burnt down last night. And I went into a panic, of course. This is their house. Uh, you can't see it good. Well, trust me, it was on fire. Mm -hmm. um, Clayton woke up and the house was on fire. And he first went and got the boys. He was yelling at Sarah to wake up. And I think Sarah was out from the smoke. I don't know. But he got the boys out. 
and then Gabe realized his mommy was still in the, the burning house, burning trailer, and tried to run back in. Now, Clayton was trying to drop him off so he could go back in with Sarah, and he had stopped Gabe from going back in and had to have make him stay outside, and he went back in with Sarah and got Sarah out. She's got blisters on her face. She's in the hospital. She got the most smoke in her lungs. Um, they're going to be flying her to Greenville or Chapel Hill, which are the bigger hospitals. Um, I'm not sure which one yet. they been disgusting, discussing both. Greenville is only an hour and a half from us, so I've already told Lisa I want to go go to the hospital as soon as she gets off. Uh, if it's there, Chapel Hill is a little bit farther away, but I still want to go. But they've lost everything. The whole trailer is gone. Um, yesterday leaving, Aiden was like, I want you to have Bunny. Do you remember me, by You have Bunny, and he'll keep you safe. <laughs> Maybe he should have kept Bunny and kept them safe. <laughs> you know? <laughs> so, uh, the boys are okay Clayton had not been checked out yet because he was worried about Sarah and wanted to be sure her and the boys were okay but he promised me he would get checked out um only thing he had on was his underwear that's it so he was basically naked and the kids had had their pajamas on. Sarah had some pajamas on. But he had to call a friend to bring him some clothes. So he would be running around in just his underwear. But they've lost everything. Um, I'm worried. We can't help much. We're here. Um, Lisa has some clothes that she can give them because they wear, except for the length and the jeans, she can give them shorts and shirts because she likes the cuts of the men's shirts and shorts and all, and pants more than the women's. But we have nothing for the boys and Sarah. Uh, and I'm sure they can stay e either with uh, Sarah's family, parents, or with uh, my daughter's, even though sh her house is full now. Uh, but yeah, it's been a very rough morning. If y'all have any clothes for the boys especially, email me and I'll give you my, an address to get to them. I'll have it sent straight to my daughter's house that lives 10 minutes from them. Um, they're not positive what started the fire. They think it might have been the dryer but they don't know for sure. And they won't know. I think my son's in shock. I know Gabe is in shock. Aiden is scared, but he's better. I mean, I mean, he's scared, but that's it. I think Gabe is in shock because as he saw his mama and he knew his mama was in the burning house. 
and Aiden was trying to keep Gabe there so he didn't get burnt. So yeah, I keep looking at my phone for updates. <laughs> and uh, yeah. I think that's good. I've got to clean up. I got to unpack. I probably won't get much stitching done today because, like I said, I want to go. The, we can't go back all the way to the beach. That's a five-hour drive. Um, but like Greenville is only an hour and a half. So yeah, if she's there, I want to go there. She's at Chapel Hill. I want to go there, and I think that's like a two-hour drive from us. And then I'll get to see them. My son's boss also owns a whole bunch of rental properties, so I'm sure he can hook them up with something for a place to stay, if he has any empty. I, I just, I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. We were there yesterday. Okay. And yesterday, the boys were feeling better. They weren't so sick. But anyway, I'm going to go. Um, I hope everyone has a blessed day. And I hope the boys and Sarah's okay. <laughs> I know my daughter and Piper are doing great. They really are. <laughs> And she's, oh God, it was so hard to leave. Oh, and I did a, a first in 10 years, 10, over 10 years this weekend when we had my granddaughter McKinley, we went walking on the beach because my legs, the more weight I lose, the better my legs are. Um, because they're not, my knees, because they're not holding so much weight. And it was just for like 30 minutes, 30, 40 minutes. And it felt wonderful. And then the next day, because I wasn't hurting all that much, and it, all the kids were in school, Deja and Piper were in the hospital, but they were sleeping, it was early. So me and Lisa went for a walk on the beach and we lost track of time. Now, I kept having to sit down, even the first day, sit down and just rest for a while. But we ended up spending almost two hours on the beach. A lot of it, I was sitting down, <laughs> but it felt good. Okay, I'm going, I gotta call my son again. I, I gotta check on him. It's been an hour. It's not too soon to check on him again, is it? Oh, Lord. I'm going to be bringing his phone off the hook all day. I got to know what's going on. But anyway, I hope everyone has a blessed day. And I will see you next week.